Keep your eyes peeled. A number of large asteroids are colliding with Earth. Prepare your bunker, please. Let's get the jargon out of the way first. Although I say asteroids, some of the items on our list are not. It's a comet. Comets and asteroids are both objects in our solar system. However, they are not the same. Asteroids are stony debris from the early stages of our solar system's development. And the vast majority of the over one million known circle the Sun in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Comets, on the other hand, are frozen gas, rock, and dust snowballs. They circle the Sun and begin to dissolve when they come too close. This creates a massive cloud of dust and gas the size of most planets. Could a fraction of the solar system's 3,000 known comets be on their way to turning the Earth into a gigantic cloud of dust as well? Let's begin with a smaller object that has already collided with Earth. The Chelyabinsk meteorite has arrived. In February of 2013, it erupted above Russia. It was quite tiny, with a diameter of roughly 17 m, 56 ft. However, the impact was enormous. The blast had the explosive power of 500,000 tons of TNT. This is almost 30 times more powerful than the bomb unleashed on Hiroshima. It wounded 1,200 people and destroyed a large amount of property. A little extraterrestrial visitor has quite the impact. Moving on to something more significant, we'll go 6 to 5 million years back in time. The enormous Chicxulub asteroid was most likely one of the factors that led to the dinosaur's demise. It was 10 to 15 kilometers, 6 to 9 miles, broad. Its impact crater is 180 kilometers, 112 miles, broad, and 900 meters, 3,000 feet, deep on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. When this asteroid collided with Earth, it destroyed everything in its path. Massive amounts of rocky debris were sent into the atmosphere by the explosion wave. It also created tsunamis up to 1,500 meters high, 4,921 ft. While the soot did not entirely hide the sun, it did restrict the quantity of sunlight reaching our planet's surface. This severely harmed plant development, with repercussions across the food chain. It eventually led to the collapse of entire ecosystems. Amuamua has one of the more fascinating forms of all the things that potentially collide with humanity. The length of this stony, cigar-shaped structure is approximately 400 meters, 1,312 feet. It is classified as a comet by NASA, although it also has characteristics of an asteroid. It also has no connection to any star system, therefore we have no idea where it came from in space. It flew by the Earth at a distance of 41 million kilometers in 2017. 25 million Mai. While we were spared on that occasion, the impact might have caused a lot of damage. If this extraterrestrial visitor collided with Earth, darkness would descend upon our globe. Furthermore, if the dust and debris remained in our atmosphere for an extended period of time, it would kill many plants, animals, and humans that rely on the sun. Bennu isn't the only asteroids to be concerned about. You should be concerned about the asteroid. In September of the year 2182, it has a 1 in 1,700 probability of crashing with Earth. It's only about 0.5 kilometers, 0.3 miles, broad. But you recall how important Chelyabinsk was. With that in mind, you might be a little concerned every six years as it comes near to Earth. This comet has no possibility of colliding with Earth. Because it impacted with Jupiter in 1994, this is the case. But picture the havoc this 1.5 to 2 km, 0.9 to 1.2 Mi comet would have wreaked on our homeland. Jupiter's gravity caused it to shatter into 20 fragments. The collisions between these fragments were intense enough to simulate the detonation of 300 million atomic bombs. Debris plumes rose to 2,000 to 3,000 miles in height, 1,200 to 1,900 mi, and the temperature in the atmosphere soared to searing heights of 30,000 to 40,000 degrees Celsius, 53,000 to 71,000 degrees Fahrenheit. You must be happy that Shoemaker-Levy 9 did not strike us. Last but not least, there's an asteroid that's so massive it's classed as a dwarf planet. Ceres is the biggest asteroid in the belt. It accounts about 25% of the belt's overall mass. 
Ceres has a radius of 476 kilometers, 296 mi. That makes it 60 times the size of our ancient pal Chicxulub. There would be more than destruction if Ceres impacted with Earth. Earth would not exist. Ceres' bulk alone would be enough to hide the sun as it approached. The impact would then remove 10 kilometers, 6 miles, of the Earth's crust. Hypersonic shock waves would reverberate throughout the world. It would incinerate and level everything in its path. Nothing would be able to stay alive. Our world would simply transform into a fiery ball of melting rock. You wouldn't last long even if you survived by some miracle or hidden suburanian bunker. Soot in the atmosphere would cause a nuclear winter-like situation. You should probably get acclimated to living underneath. <laughs>